I was back home in Nigeria, I would watch this lady play from Mount Doka. She was a Nigerian veteran. I just enjoyed the way she played. I loved to watch her play. She played really good, I thought. And so one day, one morning, I was just sitting down watching her play. And then my twin sister walks up to me and she says, you think you, you can play? And I said, no. The following morning, we walked together to the court and I, I was dribbling the ball and one of the players walked up to me and he said, have you played before? I said, no. And then he said, you think you're going to play? And I said, well, I'm just here to try out. He said, to try out. And I said, yeah. He said, um, OK, let's see what you can do with the ball. And that's all how it all started. So a friend of mine called me and told me that he had just come back from Nigeria and he found this girl and he was bringing her, going to bring her over here. And that she was a kid who was pretty much raw, but she was a kid that I would want to recruit. You can't teach size, and we knew she was 6'4", had a tremendous frame. I mean, her arms were stretched out. She was jumping, drop-stepping to the basket. Well, we were watching her in, in a volleyball game, and, uh, you know, you could tell she had good eye-hand eye skills, and uh, her footwork wasn't bad. She was fairly um, um, athletic and had quick feet. It's a big sacrifice for her, but she's all about family. She's a, she's a really loving kid. A lot of times we wish she was a little bit meaner, but you know, she, she has a big heart and she's a very loving kid. Obviously came a long way from home. Um, as we got to know her, we got to learn a little bit about her family and uh, some of her hardship. He, he, when he came back home, we went to welcome him, you know, like just welcome him as usual. And we were in an embrace and all of a sudden he falls down on the floor and we thought he was joking, but it wasn't a joke. He couldn't talk, he couldn't say anything and we were screaming outside for our mom and then she, she runs out and she's like, what's going on here? And she sees him and she starts to scream. And it was really hard because he was not just a father or a man, he was a friend, he was a counselor. We could go to him, talk to him any, any time, so you know, really missed him, so it was hard. She's a family kid. Um, she loved her. It was really hard for her to lo leave her family. It was, it, was the, it was one of the hardest decisions I ever made in my life because my mom was still in, in a state of mourning, you know, despite the fact that she was really strong. She tried to handle it really, really strong, not to show us a weak side, but when this opportunity stepped up, I, I said to myself, Definitely, this is what Dad would want me to do. If he were here, he would, he would love for me to do this, you know. And so, I mean, it was really hard then for my mom because I was leaving, and my twin sister too, and my siblings. My, my younger brother was really excited, but they knew he did not understand that I was leaving home, you know, at that time. But I really had to go. You know, really got to know an appreciative kid. Um, Again, tremendous personality, caring, loving, um, and so it was, uh, it was a lot of fun in the recruiting process with her. He had this sincerity in his voice, you know, it was, it was full of life, it was really full of life. And I got, it just got me going, like I, I got really interested in whatever he had to say to me, whatever he had to offer. I think back to 1981 when I, I came. Elijah Wan came over from Nigeria and he was extremely uh, raw, but long, tall, and athletic. And uh, you know, the, how his game evolved over four years in Houston, I was right there and watched it every, you know, seemed like I was seen watching him play a lot. I really knew that I needed that because I didn't have an experience of the game, that much experience of the game. There was no much understanding of the game. So I really needed someone to push me around, so when I when I watched and practiced during that time, I just said to myself, this is where I think I want to go. Because of her work ethic, um, because of her uh, heart and wanting to get better and please and all that, I think, I, think I, I don't know what her ceiling is, but I, I do know it's way out there. <laughs>